Also tonight, we're learning more about the two victims found dead in a car in Trotwood. Those who knew them are both surprised and heartbroken. Two News reporter Maytal Levy staying on top of the story for you joins us live with the follow-up. I'm here at Fairmont High School where grief counselors have been on hand all day. Trotwood shooting victim 16-year-old Antoine Jones was a sophomore here at the school and school officials describe him as a good student who had never been in trouble. Friends of the other victim, 20-year-old Fausto Sosa, say he had a bright future ahead of him. Students at Fairmont High School are mourning the death of a fellow classmate, 16-year-old Antoine Jones. An issue like this is sad, and it's one that's disheartening. And um, But the community will come together. We will wrap ourselves around that family. Jones and 20-year-old Fausto Sosa were both found dead inside a running car in Trotwood Monday night. Police say it's possible the two victims were shooting each other, but can't say for sure what happened. The news comes as a blow to Kettering City Schools Superintendent Scott Inskeep. In my business especially, we just, you hope you never have to deal with. And um, 16 is young. Anytime you lose a child, it's just a horrific thing. Jones transferred from Miamisburg High School to Fairmont last year. School officials say he was simply a good kid. He was in college preparatory classes and uh, was on track to actually graduate on time. Friends of Sosa say he had a bright future ahead and described him as a happy young man. <laughs> always happy, always happy, always had a smile on his face. And the potential that he had just from regular conversations that we used to have around the house was ridiculous. So, I mean, it's sad to, it's sad to hear about it. Dominic Gaskin says he met Sosa a few years ago at a college party. Police say the shooting could be drug related, but Gaskin says that just doesn't sound like the person he knew. When I heard about the stuff that happened, it was just it was crazy. It just the whole story that the you know that they're coming up with now it just doesn't sound like it would be something that he would be into. For Inskeep in his 14-year career, this is the first time a student has died in a shooting. He says in today's world, tragedies like this one are too common. A more and more is the fact that uh, culturally we got to be prepared for anything to happen at any time. As for where the investigation stands, I called the Trotwood Police Department but haven't heard back yet. When I do, I'll let you know. Live in Kettering, Mates Hall Levy, 2 News, working for you.